I always have like five or six projects going at the same time. And they're all in like, I have all these like little bins and then I have all these tote bags that are just filled with like yarn and hooks and projects and things. Hi, I'm Sutton Foster, and this is my passion project. I have been working primarily in the theater and on Broadway for over 20 years. Some of my, uh, oh gosh, more more well-known roles would be Millie in Thoroughly Modern Millie and Reno Sweeney in Broadway revival of Anything Goes. Most recently in Darren Starr's Younger, where I played Liza Miller. Currently, I'm reprising, reprising my role as Reno Sweeney in Anything Goes here in London on the West End. And in the fall, I will be starting previews on Broadway in The Music Man opposite this person named Hugh Jackman. I hope he's going to see. And I'm about to publish my very first book, Hooked. So a lot of people might know me from my Broadway or TV work, but what you might not know is that I love crafting. My sort of gateway into crafting initially started with cross stitch. My mom was a a cross stitcher. She used to make ornaments uh, for every year on our Christmas tree and a bookmark with my name on it. And so when I first started kind of getting interested in like especially handmade crafts, I started cross stitching, which led me to crochet. And so I started crocheting when um, I was about 19 years old. I lost my voice. I was doing a national tour of a Broadway revival of Greece, and I lost my voice and I had to go on a forced um, two week vocal rest. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna go crazy. I went to a crafting store and bought a how to crochet book and a ball of yarn and a hook. And I taught myself how to crochet. And then at the end of the two weeks, my voice was back and I had made a scarf. I love making things with my hands. Like I love the tangible creation of something. I love to draw as well. Like I love to draw doodles with pen and stuff. I like to collage as well. I would love to be like this epic painter. <sighs> I just am not good at it. Like I really am not good at it. I'm really good with paper, pen and ink and stuff, but paint. I have so many failed, disastrous I have ideas and then it just doesn't translate to like the canvas. I will say how crafting has, and I'll say saved my life, meaning that it has impacted my life in like major emotional ways. Certain projects and things that I have worked on, I did during incredibly um, difficult times in my life. I crocheted a blanket when I was going through my divorce with my first husband and like I didn't know what else to do. The same thing when my mom was dying um, and the same thing when I was waiting for my daughter to be born. It's like you have all of these feelings and emotions and you don't quite know what to do with them. So I, I, I turned to crochet a lot actually. So I'm working on this blanket, which is very cool, but it's like a marking of time, you know? Every day, maybe I do a row or two, you know? And it's like, you can't just have a blanket in a day, you know, it takes time. And like the same with like creating a role. Every day you, you learn a little bit more and a little bit more happens. So there's something very cool about that reminder. And then I'm also for the book, so I'm making little bookmarks, little little hooked bookmarks. I always have like five or six projects going at the same time. And they're all in like, I have all these like little bins. And then I have all these tote bags that are just filled with like yarn and hooks and projects and things. If I were a professional crafter, which honestly would be a dream come true. <laughs> I love I love being an actress. I love, I, I really do love. I love crafting. I would probably live in sweatpants, not that I don't already. So professional crafter Sutton definitely doesn't live in New York City. She lives outside the city. My dream would have a giant sort of barn craft haven where I could have different sections so I could sort of bounce around and like work on different projects. And she would have to have a couple of crafter friends so that if there's like a whole like crafting community and then maybe also host crafting events. We definitely would have to have barn cats as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. And honestly, my dream, and I think we should make this a reality, (laughs) is that I would have an Etsy store (laughs) so that I could sell my homemade goodies. So the piece that really skyrocketed me to fame (laughs) are my giant word collages. Uh, That would be a dream. That would be a dream. If you wanted to start 
crafting or crocheting, I would go to a local craft store. I would buy a ball of yarn, nothing too skinny. And then you get a hook that's comparable on every single ball of yarn. They usually says like what size you would need. It's usually right there. You just sit down and you learn how to do a foundation chain and you take your time. You figure out how you hold the needle or the hook rather, like a lot of people hold them different ways. Figure out what works best for your hands and try not to get frustrated because it takes time. And then you give yourself a small project. Even if it's like a pot holder or a coaster or just a square, don't make your first project be like a sweater. Pick something that's just simple and easy and just practice. And the next thing you know, you're, you know, you're starting to branch out. The strive for perfection and crafting, I find can cause you to not do it. Sometimes embracing the imperfections or what make it even more beautiful. So make sure to check out my new book, Hooked, all about crafting my life and all the things that I feel passionate about. And look for me on Broadway soon. Ah, coming back, coming back to Broadway with the Music Man. Thanks to Parade for having me and make sure to subscribe for more passion projects.